Hi, this is Katie with Crafting with Katie. Today I wanted to share with you how to download my searchable My Creative Time catalog for you to use either on your computer or on your iPad. And you could probably use it on an Android tablet too. I just don't own one of those, so I'm not sure exactly how to do that. But I would assume it's a similar process. So the way you want to get the catalog is to go to my blog, craftingwithkatie.com, and I have an icon right here on the right that says Searchable My Creative Time Catalog, and you just need to go ahead and click on that. That's going to take you to my Google Drive. And then you can see the catalog right here. So you could actually look at it just right online if you wanted to. But um, a great way to use it is to download it so you can use the searchable feature. So if you pull down File to Download, it's going to go ahead and download it right to your computer. And on my Mac, it opens up an Adobe Reader, and that's how you can use it just right here. So you can use the up and down arrows to scroll through it. I have it divided into sections, so it starts out with the dies. And then as you scroll down, you can see all the different My Creative Time dies. There's quite a lot of them. And soon you'll get to another section. It's actually hard to believe there's this many. And this has been making them for a long time. And then we get to the stamps and dies sets. Now you'll notice here, what I've done is I've taken the image of the picture of the set and since it's an image, I couldn't make that searchable. So what I did is underneath it, I typed all of the sentiments that are listed there. So now if you pull down file to, I'm sorry, edit to find, you can type a sentiment that you're looking for. So say you're making um, a card that you want to say Merry Christmas and you found um, a sentiment that has a Christmas and a font that you like, but maybe you wanted Merry in a different size. And so you wanted to look and see if it was in another stamp set that you can kind of mix and match. So you could type in Mary and hit next and it'll pull up the first set that has Mary. So you can see it found it where I typed it down below and then you just have to look and oh there it is right here. And if that wasn't the one that you wanted you just hit next and it'll pull up the next set that has it. And you can just keep scrolling through and find all the sets that have Mary. So that's one way to use this. Now if you have an iPad, it's really handy to be able to just be sitting on your couch looking through these as well. So if you are on a Mac, I find it really helpful to hit this little button in the top right corner of your browser when you're in Safari and it shows you your downloads and you can just drag it right onto your desktop and then you don't have to search through your downloads folder. So I'm finished with Safari, so I'm just going to quit out of that. I'm also finished with Adobe Reader. Let's just quit out of there. Okay. So here's where it can be different depending on if you've updated your um, Mac OS. And if you're on a PC, um, you would probably just do this the, the way you would do it with an older Mac. So if you have not up upgraded to Mavericks, you're going to take the My Creative Time um, catalog and drag it to your iTunes on your dock. And I think that's what you do with your PC, you would just drag it to iTunes. Now, if you do have Mavericks, you should have an iBooks catalog. And in Mavericks, I mean iBooks icon, in Mavericks they have separated um, all of the books from iTunes. So I'm going to drag this to iBooks. And then I'm going to go ahead and open iTunes. You can see it, it went ahead and popped open the catalog. Um, I don't actually need to go into iBooks, but it's got it in there. But I still need to go iTunes to sync to my iPad. So if I go to iTunes, it's going to go ahead and you'll see my devices here and I can click on my iPad. And I'm going to want to click on Books. And then I just have to find the My Creative Time catalog and make sure it has a little check next to it. So here it is. Now mine has a 4 next to it and the reason it does is because I've updated my catalog several times because I've had this for a while and I update it with each new release. So it does not have a check box next to it. So I'm going to check it and then I'm going to hit apply and it will sync. So after that syncs, I'm going to show you what it looks like on my actual iPad. Okay, so now I have my 
iPad showing here on my computer so you can see what this looks like. So if you go into iBooks, you can see it's divided up into collections. Now, I've when I originally created this, I created it as an iBook, but I can't share that with you because it's way too large. So I had to save it as a PDF because that's a smaller file that you can be able to open on your computer. So it's going to be, if you go into collections, it's in your PDF folder. And then you'll see it here. So I'm going to open it up. And this is how it looks. Now, if you want to get around and see all the pages at once, you can click the button at the top and you can kind of scroll through and see what you have here to get easily from one thing to another. And if you can you want to just click on one, you can actually swipe through. And then again, if you want to search, just um, tap on the screen and on the top right, you'll see the little magnifying glass and you can click on that and type something that you want to search for. So let's say, um, let's see if there's anything for a wedding. There's a wedding sentiment. I'm going to search for that. Um, and there are a couple, so you can tap on it and it will pop up for you. Now you can also, when you're on your iPad, you can bookmark it. So if you want to save it for later, that will show a um, bookmark it, which is kind of handy. Now you can also see across the bottom, there's, um, you can see these little icons down here. So if you want to quickly tap on one, and then whenever you want those um, menus on the bottom and the top to appear again, just tap it on your screen and they'll show up. And all of the green little boxes that show up on the bottom are um, titles. So if you want to see them, that just kind of helps you get easy access. And then again, if you click on that, on the top left, the lines with the dots next to it, that's where you can see all of the things at once. So hopefully you find this helpful. And thanks for watching and come back to visit my blog anytime, craftingwithkatie.com. And I will try to update this after every new release so you can just go through and the easiest way to do is go to your iPad. Actually, I'll show you right now. If you go back to your library and hit edit, click the little circle next to the My Creative Time and hit delete. And it'll delete it off of your iPad. And then you'll do the same thing. Um, actually, I can show you on your computer. If you go into your iBooks and go to Collections, and here it is here, you can click on it and hit delete. And so I'm basically just deleting the old one off of my computer and it's off of my iPad. And then I would go through the process again to download the newer version. And then you'd be all set with the newer version. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.